Hey guys, welcome back to another art video. This video is going to be a little different from my other videos. I went back to Tuesday morning and I found another really cheap Daler Rowney set and um, it was a create your own tote bag um, art set. So it came with uh, 24 oil pastels, 12 acrylic paints, 3 rulers and pencils, eraser and sharpener, a sketch pad and a tote bag. So I thought it was interesting. It was pretty cheap. It was only $10, so I thought I would pick it up. And also I've been looking for a tote bag to carry around like some of my markers or sketchbooks whenever I go out to draw. And um, I thought the size of the tote bag was decent enough. So I got it and I was attempting to design it. The idea, the whole idea behind the design of it was inspired by a design that was on one of my scarves. It was it just looked like a traditional Asian design. It was it had like a solid dark green background with pink, orange, and teal designs. So I really liked the um, green and orange combination. I started off by layering a flat color of dark green on the tote bag, but uh, something that really did like didn't make sense about this design set was that. They didn't give any fabric paints or fabric markers because that's really what you're supposed to use on fabric. If because uh, I noticed when I was um, painting with my acrylic paints, it would just uh, first of all I would have never used the oil paints that they gave in the set because obviously it would still smudge around unless I have the proper uh, fixative for it. It would keep smudging around and that just wasn't professional, so I, I chose not to use that. So I just used the really cheap acrylic paints that came with the set. But um, when acrylic paint dries on this tote bag, first the, the canvas on the tote bag, it feels soft at first. But after I paint with it with the acrylic paint and it dries, it, it feels really hard. It feels like almost like paper. It doesn't like it sort of takes away from the flexibility of the cloth. So and it, it makes it really like rough to touch. So I didn't like it that much and I kind of wish that uh, they gave fabric paints or, or markers then that would uh, like alleviate that problem of having it all crispy when it's dried. Um, then I started thinking I should have just went out and got uh, fabric paints or like fabric markers but knowing me I'd probably get like a whole bunch of different kinds and then do a, a comparison video on like fabric markers and I really didn't want to do that. So uh, this was just a one-time thing. I think this set was meant for children because really it's, it didn't, like I tried so hard. I did so many layers on this bag to try and get like a solid color on it, but it just wasn't coming out solid every time. It looks solid when it's wet, but then once it's dried, it, it, the um, color is like everywhere and all patchy and stuff. So yeah, there, I couldn't get it to be perfect. In my mind, it looked like exactly like my my scarf design, but it, it just really didn't turn out that way. Since the color filling was taking such a long time, I didn't record all of it. I just recorded the beginning portion, and then when it looked like almost all of it was covered in paint, all of the area, I just closed the video because it was taking way too long and I thought that it would be boring for people to watch me just blocking color. But um, so then after I was done um, coloring everything, I colored the, um, the blank spaces in green and all the rims in um, orange because I thought that would be a good color combo and it matched the color design on my scarf. Another option that could have worked for me was if I would have used my alcohol-based markers because I feel like the ink would have laid on much more solid than my acrylic paints. But um, then again, I used up the only two green acrylic paint tubes that came with the set and half of the blue tube because I needed to make more of the green to to color it, so to layer on the colors. So. If I would have used my alcohol markers, I probably would have had to sacrifice two or three of my green alcohol markers just to, just to color in this bag. And I would like to save my uh, markers for illustrative purposes, so um, I 
I'm glad I didn't take that route, but it would have, it definitely would have made my bag look a whole lot prettier. Anyway, so yeah, three paint tubes, almost empty. Also, my, um, my yellow one was completely finished too when I was doing the, um, the orange rim, because to make orange, there, there was no orange in the set, but to make orange, it's 80% yellow and 20% red. So definitely, like, the whole uh, yellow paint tube was required in order for me to get that orange color. That's three paint tubes gone just from trying to decorate this bag. And, yeah, um, I have, I don't have much to say about the quality of the uh, acrylic paints or the, the oil pastels that came with this that I, I never used, like, good quality, I, I mean, I never bought expensive oil paints or expensive acrylic paints artist quality so I wouldn't have known the difference but um, there there is a lot of differences people are saying that um, are that usually the paints that come in these really cheap sets are student grade and they don't work the same way as like professional paints do so yeah, I but I would guess that professional acrylic paints would go on more opaque because these these were layering on kind of translucent. I had to I also had to keep like blotting in a whole bunch of water uh, in order to move the paint because it was really I think it was mostly because of the canvas on the bag it was very absorbent. So I had to um I had to keep dumping water on it and that obviously prolonged the time that it took to dry also. This whole project took took about two days just because I kept layering color over color just to make sure it gets on solid and like everything looks perfect. Acrylic paint is probably my least favorite type of paint because um, it dries so quickly. Like the paint when I was putting it in the palette it started drying and then creating these little pebbles of uh, dried up paint when I was trying to use it. So I kept on having to remind myself to um, to take a little bit of water every time I was um, dragging the brush on the canvas after I finished dragging it on. When I'm taking more paint, I kept reminding myself to like dip it in the water to pick up more of the water to um, to like prolong the time that it takes for the paint in the palette to dry but uh, yeah it's still dried up pretty fast in the palette and because um, oil paints take a long time to dry so you have plenty of time to like shift around the color and even like remove color if you want and water-based paints is actually my favorite because it's very um, it's very versatile you can re-wet it and pick it up and just like layer and reactivate the ink once it's dried and everything so uh but yeah watercolor is my favorite there's also another type called gouache and it's sort of like a hybrid between watercolor and acrylic i've always wanted to try it out but um and but yeah I'd, i'm not sure if it's that as versatile as watercolor i don't know if it would reactivate with if you put in more water but i'll have to look that up so after I finished blocking in color, I went in with my Posca paint markers and I started making the design with those. And at first I was trying to use my Zig Painty markers because they're oil based so they would be more permanent. I feel like acrylic, like even the acrylic paint that I used to block in the color would scratch off of it. It's not that permanent so I, I feel very apprehensive to take it out when it's like pouring rain outside. but. Um, I guess I'll see what happens. Um, so I wanted to use my uh, my Zig markers and when I was doing my opaque uh, marker comparison, I figured out that once I, um, I used like an opaque marker on a surface and it made the surface non-absorbent, then, the, um, then the oil-based markers could work on it. But when I tried that on my bag, it was still soaking up the ink. I don't know why. I think maybe because... Um, Maybe because the acrylic paint that I layered on top of it wasn't thick enough, like it just absorbed into the cloth, so the cloth was still absorbing the um, the oil-based markers. So I couldn't use my Zig Painty finds 
on the bag so I had I had no other choice but to use the Posca's and um, the canvas on the bag really scratched at the nib on my Posca markers and uh, I was starting to get really scared because um, it was it is a pretty a decently expensive marker paint marker so I was hoping not to use my Posca's because I, I was really saving them for my uh, tone sketchbooks but uh, it doesn't matter I didn't use a whole bunch of it like a whole bunch of the ink so I think it turned out okay. And um, overall I think it looks pretty decent. I was going for a look that like is decent for me to take outside because if it, if it looks really messy and I take it outside I think I would be kind of embarrassed to, to show it in public. But I think it turned out pretty good. I think it's very useful. I wish the strap was a bit longer though because I like those um, crossbody purses. I don't like using one shoulder. But um, yeah, the crossbody is more comfortable for me, so I wish the strap was a little bit um, longer. But other than that, I, I really enjoyed this project. It was something new and different. I never tried out before. And uh, I remember getting something like this when I was younger. It was like a, a design your own like wallet or purse or something it was really small and um but obviously I was like really young so I just messed it up I just like threw some marker designs everywhere and yeah scribbles and everything so I remember messing it up but um now that I'm an, an adult I had a like an actual idea for a design on this and I tried my best to make it look perfect so yeah, I'm really happy about this project and um, I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thank you very much for watching and uh, in my next video I'm thinking of trying out those uh, oil pastels that came with the set because uh, I remember using oil pastels um, like years ago when I was like in middle school or high school and they were they were pretty fun to use. They're a bit hard like blending because oil pastels has a very um, thick texture like it's hard to move the color around so I've always had a trouble blending oil pastels but um, I think it would like it would be useful to try it out again so yeah look forward to my next video which is going to be an oil most likely going to be an oil pastel painting and um, thank you very much for watching and hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more.